Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, it's Dima from Russia and as you can see, today we're gonna be reviewing my regular shopping trip in a regular grocery shop in Russia. What, what is the interest? Interest is the look at the prices, look at how they growing up. I know the prices are rising everywhere in the world, in America too, I know it. And in Russia it's going pretty fast, I think, maybe more fast than in US. I'm gonna say what I bought today for today's trip and how much it cost. And after that I'll show you the check from that shop, it's called Magnet, not very expensive shop magnet magnet is the lower in the lower segment of uh, grocery shops in russia let's start from this little box with goose liver paint i'm pronouncing it uh, for the first time i'm sorry if it's a little bit wrong so this is paint and the weight is 105 grams as you can see and this paint costs me 69.99 rubles for this little pack of paint and we go next this is beans you need to cook it as yourself and weight is 800 grams and it cost 123.99 rubles for one package okay someone from the comments is asking me what about lentils Dima can you make some video with cooking lentils recipes with lentils by the Russian way like Russian way how are you gonna cook lentils in Russia so I bought one pack of it this is 400 grams for one package and it costs me 89.99 rubles for one package and this is you can see the brand magnet it's made by magnet and it means this is not a good quality product because this is made from magnet and magnet as i said before this is a lower segment of groceries in russia going next and this one this is interesting vegetable it's very similar to zucchini i think in western countries zucchini is more popular than vegetable marrows my grandma was cooking this vegetable for 100 different ways and always it was very very tasty so two pieces of vegetable marrows costs me 77.99 rubles we're going next this is pepper sweet pepper all of you know yellow and orange sweet pepper it has a different price for each one color yellow 62 rubles and 57 ruble cents for orange one 96 rubles for this one one dollar for one for each paper incredible i should check before paying for that 100 rubles for one piece of pepper pepper not paper pepper sorry for my pronunciation the next one is loaves or bread rolls in russian we call it chlipsy it's chlipsy it's made by Elizaveta factory Elizaveta huh. and it cost 66.99 rubles and this is weight 85 grams I think you know what it is this is celery I'm not a big fan of celery I think it smells bad pretty bad but i'm on a diet right now i need to eat this vegetable it's 300 and plus grams in one package it costs 129.99 rubles 130 rubles all right and the last one it's very very russian thin it's called kefir it's made by smithanin 
Kefir is fermented milk drink, similar to a thin yogurt or iran that is made from kefir grains, a specific type of mesophilic symbiotic culture. This description from Wiki. You can eat it with different types of food, maybe I, I will tell you about it later. Kefir costs me with a discount, oh yeah, that is one of all that different products with a discount. And kefir cost me 32.79 rubles for one pack. And one pack is 800 grams. Let's look at the total cost. It's 750 rubles dot 30 ruble cents. And this is incredible. All that stuff cost me close to 1000 rubles. It's insane. All right, you, you may say that beans, you can cook much different dishes with beans or lentils, same for lentils. Of course, you do not gonna eat only celery, like one piece of celery, you gonna cook it somehow, same for pepper. All that products, like this is a long term investment. If, if we're talking about grocery products. For me, this is this is very, very expensive. The last time I bought beans, the same package, it costs, it was for 50 rubles. For 50 rubles, the same. And now it's more than 100 rubles, more than 100% increase. My salary or my cash flow, all right, it didn't increase so well, like more than 100%. I'm getting really sad talking about that. Whew, damn. Hope you like it, guys. Hope you're doing well and wish you a really good mood. Do not give up or, I don't know, subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.